Hi guys, out of frustration with Celery's docs, I wanted to do a demo of the Python Celery library, which allows you to do task queuing. Um, we're going to try and do this under three minutes. Uh, really, really basic example, but what you'll need for this is Celery, of course, uh, if you don't have it, install it. Uh, you'll also need RabbitMQ, which we'll be using as our, uh, our message broker for tasks. Uh, so your Python script will enqueue a task with Rabbit. Uh, and your Celery processes will dequeue uh, or remove tasks to be performed. So we don't have any tasks yet, but once, one thing that happens when you run pip install Celery is that you get a script called Celery. And you can see that there are a ton of options. The most important one is Celery Worker. Uh, this will start your worker process processes and listen for a broker, which by default is uh, a localhost copy of Rabbit. Uh, and the second most important option is dash A for your, where your task definitions live. So we don't have any task definitions yet. So if we ran celery worker dash A, we wouldn't have anything to point to. So let's quickly write those. Uh, following the example uh, from the official celery docs, let's define a celery task for addition, uh, just adding two integer numbers. So from celery, import celery, we need an app object. Uh, there's a whole bunch of default options that are being assumed here. Uh, we'll just take advantage of them, and those include what our default message broker is, in this case, RabbitMQ. Uh, but any task definition that you want registered with Celery uh, and consumed by workers, you need to decorate. So we have a function add. And all it will do is return x plus y. Cool. Uh, the other thing we need to do is get our message server our message broker server running. Here's Rabbit. It's starting broker. It looks like it started. Uh, the last thing is make sure we have this saved, right? We'll X out of it. Celery worker dash A tasks. And we'll also set the log level to be very verbose so we can see when tasks are being performed by the Celery worker processes. Uh, here you can see there's some warning, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, most important thing here is that concurrency is four, meaning there's four Python processes that got spawned by Celery. Uh, so there will be four additions at maximum being uh, performed concurrently. Uh, so let's try and queuing a bunch of tasks. Uh, so we'll open IPython from tasks import add for I in, in X range of 10,000, let's say. Add dot delay i plus i. So the delay here is how you call a function uh, or, or enqueue a function as a task rather than calling it synchronously or rather inline. So calling dot delay will push a message to uh, rabbit and then celery will pull that message off of rabbit and perform it. So let's run 10,000 tasks four at a time. Cool. You can see it go into town. Uh, next video, I'll show you some more interesting stuff you can do, but most of it revolves around editing your Celery task definitions uh, to do a lot more interesting things. For example, you might make a web scraper. You might make see how it finished and it's still being performed by Celery. Um, you might make web scrapers. You might make API consumers. You might make uh, email senders. Uh, there's a whole lot of beautiful stuff you can do with Celery, and there's a lot of reasons why you use Celery rather than roll something like, like this yourself. Uh, but I'll talk about that next time. Hope you had fun. Bye.